We've got a very long journey ahead of us today. All right, breakfast of champions. Ketchup potato chips. Gotta try them since we're in Canada. They look very um red, almost like flaming hot Cheetos flavor. I mean, color. It, it really smells like ketchup. I feel nervous about this. <laughs> I think that's really not good. Oh my gosh. It really tastes like somebody just took a potato chip and just squirted a bunch of really sweet ketchup on it. Woo! Oh my gosh. I'm gonna make Jacob try one now. Jacob. Eh, uh, that doesn't look very good. You didn't even get one with a lot of flavoring. Mine had a lot of flavoring. Oh. You like it? No, but it's not gross. Oh, let me get you one with more flavoring. Gotta find a really flavorful one. <laughs> That's wow. worse, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's way worse. We've got a very long journey ahead of us today. We are going from Whistler to Vancouver on a shuttle and then flying from Vancouver to Calgary. And then once we get to Calgary, we're getting on a shuttle to drive us to Banff. So it's gonna be a long day. Not really looking forward to it, but we're taking you along with us. And we're going to Banff. And that's the exciting part. We are going to BAMP. Although it's going to be dark when we get there. Actually, it stays light pretty early, late here. So, I don't know. I just woke up. We're walking to the shuttle station. We got kicked out of our room at 10 a.m. So, we have the 10.30 shuttle. It's going to take us to the airport about like two hours. So, we're going to be waiting in the airport for about four and a half hours. We're leaving Whistler. Oh. Jacob take the purple suitcase because it's harder to push. <laughs> Thanks, Jacob. Are we eating here? Uh, should we? I don't know. We kind of ate those ketchup chips. Oh, wait, I had one chip. Maybe we could get... <laughs> Starbucks. Hey, we have <laughs> Tim Hortons right there. We gotta go Timmy's. They thoroughly searched my bag because I had a bunch of liquids in it and then I also got in trouble for my water bottle, even though it didn't have any water in it. They still had to check it. So it was a very, very, uh, I feel very safe in this airport because they take very many precautions. We don't ever eat Carl's Jr. But when we do, it's at an airport. <laughs> well, when the healthy options like $12 and this one's like nine, we gotta go with Carl's Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I got Canada dry ginger ale because it just felt right. Add another one to the Canada food tour. honestly the best part about having a husband put it up there for me <laughs> and he always lets me have the window seat best travel partner and I get the middle that's such a great trade except for that when we have the aisle seat you do get it mm -hmm. yes I do that's our deal I always get the window he always gets the aisle no matter what the other person gets the middle the plane's not very full so I get to move over super not super delayed but it was delayed and our shuttle leaves in 20 minutes and we landed but we haven't been able to get like our taxi finished yet so we're just sitting on the runway and our shuttle leaves in 20 minutes and we tried to call them and they just said leave a message so hopefully we don't miss our shuttle because that would stink real quick 
quick before we go any further with the video, if you watched our last video, you know that we are doing a September giveaway for you. We are gonna donate half of the money to charity and half the money to one of you, our subscribers. The way you enter is you have to comment on every single video we post in September and you have to be subscribed. We're donating one cent for every like, two cents for every comment, and three cents for every new subscriber. But there's another catch. If we hit 5,000 subscribers this month, we are gonna double the jackpot. That means double the money for you and double the money for charity Feed My Starving Children. We will be doing a random drawing at the end of September and we will be announcing our winner then. Jenny ran ahead off the plane, cut a bunch of people. I straight up sprinted through the entire airport, left Jacob on the plane, ran across the airport, ran to the desk, and I was like, we're coming, we're coming, my husband's coming, he's still on the plane. We got here at like eight o'clock, right on the dot, and now we're about to load onto the shuttle. And uh, I was carrying backpack in both bags, and I was sprinting through the airport. Whew. I need to work out more, I'm tired. But where's the driver? We beat the driver here. Since we are going straight from the Calgary airport to Banff, we don't get to spend any time in Calgary. I'm sure it's a nice place to be, but with our schedule, it just didn't work out. So maybe one day we'll actually explore Calgary. The sun is almost setting, but it's almost like it's noon with how bright it is.